Welcome back, Baby Club families. We've got something else that's important to learn about today, and it is called turn taking. So normally when we think about this, we think about older kids waiting their turn on the slide. One goes up, one goes down. This is a different kind of turn taking, and it's the kind of turn taking that builds children's brains. So brains are built on back and forth interactions. They are, babies are not passive learners. Babies have to be interactive learners. It's kind of like a tennis match or a ping pong match. Actually in brain research, they call it serve and respond. So the baby serves, you respond. You serve, the baby responds. It's, it's a relationship that builds the brain. So we're going to talk about how we can customize person-to-person -person interaction to help build the brain with things, toys, and just normal things that you see around your house. By the way, this is why you are a way better teacher for your child than a tablet or a TV screen. You can personalize them. You make it back and forth. That is necessary. Babies do not learn through screen time. Even kids who are older, when they were learning a foreign language, they did it person to person. They did it Skype, which is a little different because you do have a little bit of back and forth interaction, kind of like you and I right now. And then they did it um, just kids listening on the screen. Guess which one didn't work? Just watching the screen doesn't work. Person to person and even Skype. So if you have grandparents reading books to kids on Skype or whatever, that's good or FaceTime, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> whatever technology you have. Um, let's give some examples of ways you can do some turn taking. So a classic game that every single baby loves is peekaboo. And obviously, that's a back and forth interaction. Um, making facial expressions in the mirror. If your child is you know, making a really crabby face or mm, you can imitate that and you can make it a turn-taking experience by holding up a mirror in front of your child. Mirrors boost cognitive development, so try to use those when you can. Um, you could take something simple. Um, you're eating, and um, lots of times kids will do this on their own. When they're a little older and you're finger feeding, I don't know, but all my kids did this. I would give them something, and then they would pick it up and they'd give it to you, and it's squishy, and it's smushy, and it's got their dribble dribble all over it but they're trying to give that turn-taking experience. Even when, how about the drop things off the high chair tray game that can drive people crazy. It's their development. They're not trying to drive you crazy. But they drop something, you pick it up, you put it back on. They drop something, you pick it up. If, I think there's a lot of caregivers laughing out there because your baby probably does that, at least if they're at a certain age. Um, so turn-taking during feeding time. You know, you're you can stir it up, stir it up, just like so. Stir it up and away we go. Then give your child a chance to mix, 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 stir, stir, stir. So you can do it with simple things. Um, you can do it with blowing bubbles, um, especially for older kids. So obviously a little kid's not going to be able to have the, the oral um, control to blow bubbles, but older toddlers will. And that's actually something speech therapists use to help develop um, the muscle strength with the mouth and to help develop speech sounds. So blowing bubbles is more than just fun. It is developing speech. Um, pop, mama pops, baby pops. And you can do hand over hand for little babies, even little infants. Have them in your arm and slot. So mama's turn, Rory's turn. Um, use those words, my turn, your turn, with Things that roll back and forth, like trucks and cars, you roll it to them, they roll it to you. Bouncing balls, rolling balls, great, great, great activities for turn taking. Guess what? It's not just an action game. It is, but it's a back and forth. It helps build the foundation for conversations. If you've ever had a conversation with someone that doesn't listen and just plows on and on and doesn't take turns, you're going to know that that person doesn't have the social aspects of language that they need. So when you turn take with actions, you are building the foundation for later conversation. Your child needs to learn that. You are also helping them share and be learn how to build the foundation for sharing and taking turns and being a good social human being. 
puppets are great for turn taking too. You can go to your baby, woo, cow gives you a kiss, and then um, your baby can interact with words or actions with the, with the puppets. So those are great ways to practice turn taking. Remember, the brain is built on back and forth interactions. You and all the people in your baby's life are the important people to make that happen. You are way better than any technology could ever be. Enjoy, take turns, boxing, read play.